channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing great um yeah if you're new here welcome and if you are a regular regular day one returning subscriber welcome back slobo so to all the new ones if uh you like the content over here and i'm sure you do please hit on the subscribe button and join the family and i know there are those who are watching outside of the club guys what is the hold up why are you guys not subscribing but anyways i hope with this video today this will make you stay and become part of the family and otherwise yeah it's been a minute eh? it's been a hot minute since i saw you guys um so as you can tell by the title of the video today i will be giving you guys i'm not sure if i should say like a story time or what but yeah let us say maybe a story time let's call it a cheat chat you know um so i'll be basically telling you guys about about my teenage pregnancy the experience um hopefully i will remember most part of it because in true honesty um there's just a little that i remember about me being pregnant at 14 right so grab your drinks let us chill together i have a glass of coke coca-cola that is um it's the no sugar and no caffeine one thing about me i don't like fizzy drinks but this one cheers coke snapped with this one so without wasting any more time guys i have literally um 30 minutes to film this video <laughs> and then i can start cooking for my husband that's a purr <laughs> I'm kidding you guys but anyways um yeah just grab your drinks and let's get right into the um, video. so yeah i hope everyone is back with their drink um most of you know that i have a teenage boy this is so nice uh most of you know that i have a teenage boy um his name is Sipesile and he is turning 18 this year. So here's how this whole thing started. I don't want, okay, disclaimer. I don't want any of you to think that maybe I was art. I can't just say the full word as you guys know that YouTube doesn't like um, hate speech or anything of some sort. So I wasn't art or anything. Um, I guess I was just one of those teenagers that batandis and you know. And yeah, I ended up, you know, being active at a very young age, but not faulting anyone, I'm not faulting my parents or anyone for that matter. I'm not gonna for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna say how old sorry the father of my child is because abu judge judy besides abu judge judy i don't want to get other people in trouble but anyways just getting that out of the way i was an art um like i said um so when i fell pregnant i was 14 right um and i was in grade nine that's how young i was um so is it gonna rain oh and it's bola so forgive me if there's any noise in the background but let's get into the business of the day so i was in grade nine when i fell pregnant and i was staying with my mother uh, my dad has always been a present dad. Uh, it's just that my my both my parents um, broke up. I don't remember how old I was at that time. Yeah, but I was staying with my mom. I still had access to go and like visit my dad, you know. 
but I was fully staying with uh, my mother. And then, yeah, and then it so happened that I fell pregnant. Um, and when I remember very well, like this is me being honest, you know, some people will think, but how didn't you know and things like that. I've always hated being on my period. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm sure I'm not the only girly that has never enjoyed, like, getting their periods, you know? So when they stopped, I didn't really think that, okay, they stopped uh, because maybe I'm pregnant or anything. I just genuinely thought that, oh, okay, that thing is gone, you know? Remember, I'm 14, you guys. I don't know much about these things, you know? at that time so what had happened is that yeah I, I just noticed that my period had stopped but i wasn't even concerned no worried in saying that oh okay now my period has stopped hey koningwa or what was happening to me it was like okay into lily the face being milling you know so the period stopped i think my mom suspected that i was pregnant but that was, I think, a few months down the line. I Was I seven months then? Or she started suspecting when I was five months or six months, but somewhere there, you know? Because I'm a fully busted woman. Is that the right way to say? I think I have like big boobs, you know? So, isi sunyanga stata ngabambele. Yeah, so meaning I carried my, yo guys, I don't know how to put this in English, but if you understand, you do understand. I will try to put the subtitles here. But anyways, um, I had my boobs, like, so my boobs, like, got bigger when I fell pregnant. So that was hard to tell if this person is really pregnant or not. Do you understand? So, but the minute my mom found out, she then called me and said, look girl, pregnant and I'm really disappointed. I mean, any parent would be disappointed. Let's be honest about that. So after that, um, I started attending like your ANC classes at the clinic. Are they called ANC classes? I don't know, but yeah, I started attending those classes um, at clinic. And then I think then I was late six months, if not seven months. And then I continued to go to school, right? So I felt pregnant continued to go to school and the minute my mom told me that Nyabonugu to pregnant then that's when it gave me because at that point in time I was 14 that's when I really started noticing that oh okay I could be pregnant guys I am so sorry I'm using natural light uh, I tried to switch on the ring light but I don't know what's happening with it so the sun keeps obviously it looks like it's gonna rain so I keep losing the natural light so do forgive me with that so yeah now my mom tells me that i can see that you're actually pregnant and that's when nami i'm starting to notice like those little changes you know and i can feel the baby move you know now i can start feeling the baby move so i'm like mm, okay so this means i am going to be a mother right and then Going back to me being at school, um, that wasn't the nicest experience, you know, being at school and being pregnant in grade nine. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That was the worst experience. Wait, wait, wait. There was two worst experiences being pregnant at the young age. One, it was the school parts. And then second, it was the one where you have to give birth, right? So we'll come to the second one. So... School-wise, I continue to go to school because my parents wouldn't let me drop out. And the experience, like I said, it wasn't really nice. Um, I remember how the, the people that I called friends at that point in time just completely, like completely changed from the people that, the people that I knew them to be, you know? 
in a sense of niazimo se I I can't speak much ni goloza sit down because I'm fundang it down. So you know a lokshini there's like you sit like in a group of six where there's like two tables facing um each other and then there's one that is facing the other side. So like you sit in a group of six or in a group of eight, right? So we were sitting in a group of six. I remember this other time, um, the teacher that used to teach us LO, life orientation, um, after assembly, she, so we were just going back to our classes. And then she said to me, um, come here, I need to speak to you. And she was like, you're such a smart girl, um, you know, but I don't understand why smart people always want to inter or find themselves in 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 such things you know why are you pregnant and guys come on man i'm 14 you know now when i look at 14 year old and i'm like okay so this is how i also like behaved or this is how i understood things looking at how 14 year olds like understand things i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah, so I was like, okay, yeah, why are you pregnant? Hey, da, 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 da. Maybe some people were really genuinely like concerned that what if this child or what if this kid was like art and of which that was not the case, you know? And she asked me and she asked me if maybe this happened out of concern, you know? I said, no, I do have a boyfriend and I, I wouldn't say this person forced me. Do you understand? They didn't force me in anyhow. I think um, this is what I also wanted to do. But obviously, I wasn't knowledgeable about these things. You know, to me, it was like, you know, you know, having a good time with the father of my child or having a good time with my boyfriend. I wasn't really fully aware of the... English. But I wasn't, <laughs> but I was in a way of what was going to happen, you know, the aftermath when you don't need protection, you know, um, not that I didn't know, but I didn't think that was going to happen. Do you understand? Like thinking, let me put it that way. So anyways, fast forward. Sorry about that. So anyways, yeah, so and then I answered uh, the teacher, Uti, what really happened. And then, yeah, and then that was it. And the friends, as I was saying, the friends just, just changed, man, you know. I remember this other time, uh, and then they just decided to go sit and group themselves with other, you know, kids and just leave me there sitting by myself and you know thinking about this really makes me feel so emotional and with the things that I had to experience to experience while I was pregnant at that age I I feel emotional but at the very same time emotional in in, in a sense of people can really be mean you know but I'm also grateful that they had to show me the other side of them because I feel like some of the things I really had to go through those things in order for me to be the person that I am today, you know, um, being the person that says, um, I can really stand on my own. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident in saying, uh, I do have a backbone, you know, if someone doesn't really want to be in my life. I don't find myself struggling with the fact that some people don't like me, you know. I'm very much aware that people like whoever they want to like, and that's okay. And people can like you today. People can, you know, want to be friends with you and choose not to be friends with you the following day. That's absolutely okay. It has nothing to do with me. It's their own decision. I mean, I myself, I make my own decision. So I'd like to think that it's okay for the next person to also make decisions for themselves, right? So, yeah, and then they started obviously speaking behind my back. Why is she pregnant? So I was like, okay, this is really... 
okay so i was like okay so people would really choose to to be mean to you with no apparent reason so i uh, i continued i went to school i didn't drop out and trust me i was this close this close from from dropping out because now but <clears throat> then again i was like you know what i'm not doing this for people and now that i have umtwana on the way because already i saw myself as a mother <laughs> so i was like because already you have Umtwana on the way, you need to act and you know behave like Kumundum Dala and not really get those people get through your skin. I continued to go to school. Um I gave birth in October and that time this is Taluk Bala Ama Ama exam. Yeah. And then my mom had to go to school to obviously tell them what I have to you know go through labor <laughs> you know i have to go um your data and whatnot so that so that when i come back i just chose not to be at school to write my exams right so then when i came back your data i think in clearly two weeks and then after two weeks i went back to school in putting your bar. And then nala po linkulumo besinga pe lin na ngu mama umto ana kumba na ngam yo guys the experience was really not nice I don't wanna lie but on a lighter note I feel like me falling pregnant at that very young age to me it was a blessing you guys because truly speaking I don't think I'd be sitting here today I'd be the person that I am today had I not you know. Yeah, had umtwana at a very young age. Sorry, I just need to fix this tripod. Hey guys, um, I think my tripod was moving a bit, but I think everything is set now. Okay, so as I was saying that, um, falling pregnant at a very young age to me was also like a blessing in disguise because I had this particular friend. I'm not gonna mention names. Uh, she dropped out of grade ten. Ne. Yeah, she dropped out of grade 10. So me and her met um Yasmo Samandebele, if your brother Uhambile, we and then you you as the sister or the younger sister was Obum Kendisa, right? So we met there because Naibela to be cousin Yake. But after that we became very close because um Abu Babi to my dad and her dad, Biba Sebenzenda Wene one, but her dad was like a superior Kubabam, right? so we became very close me and uh the girl and i remember when i was pregnant when i was still pregnant i would go like visit her yeah well and then at times because gibo it's not far from a school in Sage, you know and this other time she and her school friends they banked school and i remember that day i went to school and then she kept on calling me to tell me that uh they banked i should come over nan 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 so i said to her no minang sese school in i'll probably come through when iskolo's puma and then i went home because home is not far from school in i went home i changed and then i went back I, I not went back and then i went over to her house when I got there, they were chilling, they were drinking and smoking weed throughout the day and asang by school win. So I was like, hey, you guys, you guys didn't go to school. They said, no, we banged nan nan. And trust me, if I wasn't pregnant or if I didn't fall pregnant, I would have easily, I would have been easily influenced into doing such things. When you think of what I said earlier that I am glad that I fell pregnant um at this at a very young age and that e self confidence yeah I mean it's it's on another level, right? Prior to me falling pregnant, right, I don't think I was 
that confident person after the pregnancy or during the pregnancy. Um, I remember in grade eight, uh, I, jo I joined this, the, the, uh, uh, this, this, this group of friends. Um, and when I joined them, they were more of a, like friends, family slash, like we do, th we do everything together. We share everything together. That was the, the type of friendship that they had. And I liked that. So I wanted to join them. So I joined them and then they told me, uh, if we have like pocket money for a school, we need to buy lunch. Tina, what we do, we share everything. So no matter how much money, oh, it's raining. But anyway, so they said, no matter how much money we have, we like share and split it amongst um, the group. I think it was six girls. I was the sixth girl. The, it was five of them. And then I, when I joined them, it was six of us. So sharp, I joined the, the group of friends. Um, and I, become a, I became a friend as well. So I was very good with saving money. So I would save money so that like I have extra cash. Maybe Baba Mungi Pimali, your carer and do my mom nice. And then I would save the end, right? So what had happened this other day, I, yeah, just right after I joined, I joined uh, a, a scheme, yeah, well, just checking my teeth, sorry about that. So after I joined a scheme this other day, Ilanchi, Niti, Gubo, uh, also now they ask so how much do you have like for your e lunchbox and then i just gave them all my money i i i don't remember how much um the money was but i just know that i gave them imaliam young and they were shocked they were like Ibo, in, 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 in. and then obviously i told them i save and coming to think of it now, coming to think of it now, guys, I was someone who who always seeked validation, you know, who always wanted to belong. That was the type of person that I was prior to me falling pregnant, right? So now this shows Wuti, I had a problem, you know. I genuinely like had a problem with um having a backbone knowing that i can stand on my own i don't need anyone right imagine all your savings it's not like it be in dembi but i could have maybe took half of it not all of it and then yeah so that's why nishuguti falling pregnant has really boosted my self-confidence and me saying that okay if i bangan bambayang chigela because i'm pregnant and now they're treating me as if like I have this, you know, contagious, contagious disease or whatever the case is that makes them to want to not being around me. Then, but anyways, life continued. Um, that friend dropped out of school. Now I was focusing on being a young mom more than anything. So I, I, yeah my life continued um i finished school um i went back after my pregnancy to obviously write the subjects that i couldn't write my new data and then i passed grade nine i went to grade 10 i passed grade 10 i went to grade 11 i passed grade 11 and i went to metric i passed metric um i went to study at boston media house um, because I love media, you guys. I love media. If I had an opportunity to go back to school and study, I would definitely, you know. So, yeah, but unfortunately, due to, like, um, financial reasons, I couldn't then complete um, my diploma. So, but me having a child at a very young age didn't stop me, you know. At 21 my mom threw a 21st birthday for me, you know, because she said to me, you know what, mistakes do happen and we are not going to treat you like you are any less of a child because you had a child at a very young age, right? Um, so I had my 21st, I've never hit my son. Um, 
so if you and I would date, I would tell you that I have a child, you know, and judge me if you want. That's okay. Right. That's okay. But I wouldn't lie and say I don't have a child when I actually knew that I had one. So life continued, man. Um, yo, a story for another day, how I struggled finding a job. Um, but Uguba Nomdana again at a very young age boosted my confidence. Um, like I said, uh, I never saw myself any less of a woman, uh, because so if you're watching this video and you are a teenager and you just think your life has ended, it, it has just started, you know. Uh, just you need to know that anything and everything that you do, you need to think of your child. You know, you must think if I drop out of school, if I just decide that I'm going to resign from my job. Well, there are some reasons that would really make people want to leave their jobs. But when when you have a child and you know that you are a single parent, for me, I'm fortunate enough uh, to have my parents who, who really helped me in raising my son and i have to say you know a big up to both my parents um my mom played a very huge role i remember after giving birth and umtanu no kalipsu i would literally call my mom and say mama umtanu ya kala and then she would come and you know ana umtwana and i would sleep so before I even forget about the second worst experience that I had, I hope this is not TMI, but giving birth, guys. Yo, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't have much memory of that, but I, son, I, Ziakala. So they had to cut me. I didn't have like a, a cesarean, a, a C-section, but they had to cut me. Yo, guys, uh-uh. Yeah, one of that I that was that was the most painful thing I had to oh, thinking about it. But anyways, that was really painful, guys. And they obviously had to stitch me up. Yo, you have to pee. You have to do this. You can't even laugh. You can't even sit. When you sit, you must. So yeah, yeah, I. <laughs> It is actually the first worst thing that I had to experience. Lea Bangani, it's the second one, guys. Yo, uh uh. That's what people don't tell you. That it's nice when you're pushing Kaba, you know, belly content. That is very nice. Honey, that labor word will show you flames. I, that labor word will show you flames. I remember when um, I had my, what do you call it, contractions. Guys, I was not listening to this one. But anyways, I was I remember at some point I started crying and I told the nurses that they must call my wife. My wife? What am I saying? They must call my mom because I can't take this anymore. And shout out to those ladies, man. Being young and pregnant and... Yes, in I feel like most people think it's okay for them to speak to you whichever way or in no maranjan. But those ladies, guys, in my labor ward, I I shame. I remember at some point they kept on saying, push Iwama, you know most does like the, the bed that sits here on the side where once the baby comes, once the baby is like you know, out, they just put the baby there and whatnot. But if it's going to be a problem, you know, at that time I was like, I love but now I understand that it wasn't a lie. Right. So the lady just helped me, you know, like they pressed down my baby and then eventually the baby came out because I was like, I can't push. And you know how people say that when you push and you poop, then umtana koba so mnyanya so me being young i was like who i am fun umtana mba mnyanya but i don't know if that that um that is what do you call it i don't know if that really does happen or 
it's just in Jindabantabayukulumayo. But anywho, the baby came and then, yeah, they took care of the baby. The nurses took care of the baby. They cleaned the baby and whatnot. And at that time, because I remember I only went to two scans and all the time when I went to the scans, the first time I went with um, Sikha's dad, um, and then the second time, I think I went alone. Yeah. So they they couldn't see the gender of the child. So I was also waiting to see Uguti Umdanawan. So I was like, oh, it's a boy. And then he started crying and whatnot. So, yeah, man, that giving birth experience, it was, oh, yeah, I, it was hectic nine nine. Hectic nine nine. Yeah. So, yeah, my son came. Uh, we raised him. My parents helped me raising. Sorry, my son. Shout out to my mom. Like I said, uh, she she really came through as as a parent for me. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. You know, it wasn't easy, guys. Having to raise umduana ngapa wuseskolueni and my mom. I think at that time she was working for this other grocery store or let me just say it by name she used to work for pick and pay so yeah it wasn't that easy guys you know i won't lie it wasn't that easy and you know how they say that wise people learn from other people's mistakes i would love that if you know anyone that you are close with and they are pregnant at a young age try to learn from them man and see that it's really not worthy to have umdanusesemngane. Don't get me wrong. I love my son wholeheartedly. I am grateful for such a blessing, right? But having a child at a very young age does take away a piece of you in a way. Do you understand? Because now there are certain things that you can't do um, because you're a mother, you know? So... Your life, Nji, you know, when you think, you have to think, do you understand what I mean? So that type of a thing. But anyways, life continued, like I said, um, you know, now I don't struggle with like confidence. I don't struggle with when people don't like me and yeah, that's that. You don't like me and so what, you know, I went through the most growing up so i i'm not someone who who wants to beg people to stay in my life because at that time okay and then you have to be on your own you know so he, there's a show on mocha love um about teenage pregnancy and i saw how this kid's drop drop dropped out of school and i just ask myself why because people are talking about you do you know that you can really be a topic today and the following day people find something new to talk about so why are you really bothered of what people think of you i mean at some point you have to care but you don't you don't just give them that much of your life, man, to a point where you drop out of school because and you're just concerned I guys don't suffer don't suffer with that syndrome, hey people always have something to talk about anyways, do you understand so as long as you have your head held up high and you're focusing on the goal because the goal now is you making sure that you don't disappoint your parents again. Do you understand? So, Mina, more than anything, I'm just grateful for blessing me with my son at a very young age. Like I said, had I not had Usi at a young age, truly speaking, I don't think I'll be sitting here, you know? Um, so I'm really grateful that I had to go through that when I was young to help me in becoming the woman that I am today, you know? So... Yeah, so like I said, that show when kids just drop out of school, being rebellious, yeah, I, I, I would say that um, being rebellious would definitely lead you into doing the wrong things. The wrong things. It, it, will, it will definitely lend you there. 
so if you you can by all means avoid that please do avoid it please do avoid it because now you're rebellious you fall pregnant you don't want to go back to school you drop out of school now your life is a mess guys we all know nowadays you really need school to survive you know you need to go to school so that you can you know better your future so yeah if 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 you're watching this video and you also had the same experience growing up like falling pregnant at a very young age and today you are the woman that you are you know you you have your own things we are sebenza you are happy you are raising your child or you're raising your kids very well and then shout out to you man you know definitely shout out to you i hope this video that didn't go over 30 minutes but yeah man shout out to you i know it's not easy but you know some things have to be done some things we really have to go through them you have to ask yourself if not me then who you know because you can't say i don't want this for myself but wish it for someone else however god can say i want you to go through one two three and four so that you learn a lesson, you know, so that there's a lot of things, guys, that we go through that at, at that point in time, we really don't understand why did I have to go through this? But you always need to understand that it's either a lesson, you know, if you're going through this thing. So if you learned something from it, then be grateful because when I at least there's something that you learn from it, you know, things could have been worse, guys. I remember when I was pregnant and I took HIV tests and they came back as negative and uh, the results were negative. My mom said, you know what, <laughs> this is her last chance. This is your last chance, baby girl. This is your last chance because things could have been worse. <laughs> things could have been worse. Trust me, things could have been worse. But hey, yo, I'm not laughing because, but I'm just saying that Things could have been worse, you know. Things could have really been worse for me, you know. Being young, pregnant, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm just grateful, you guys. I'm just really grateful that um, everything turned out just fine. You know, I tell my son all the time. I'm like, I'm just glad that he's 18 and you know, but... Yeah, I think if that were to happen, I would have, I would be supportive as my parents were to me. Do you understand? But I was just telling him that focus on going to school, study, and because I feel like also we as women we go through so much. Now you're pregnant when uh, there's days where you can't go to school and Wabumtana continues to go to school. Like that show on Mocha Love where now Lomunye, Sigamjela, the way Ngasumtana king a corner. Hence, I'm saying that things could have been worse because some guys would go to an extent of saying, this is not my child. Do you understand? But lucky enough, um, that was not the case with me. Um, even though Mina Nobabaki, we didn't, you know, the relationship didn't go any further. I'm not get, gonna get into that. Um, but yeah, but um, I think we broke up when it was a year and a couple of months, if not two years, somewhere they can't really remember. But it was not that big at that time, so but yeah, so in closing. Um, if you find yourself in a situation where um, you are pregnant and you are facing all the things that I had to go through, I hope you always come back to this video and know that you are your own person, you know. Don't let people change you, change the person that you are or don't have a different outlook on life uh, because of what people think of you because you are pregnant and you are young. Um, unfortunately, some of us had to go through such things. If by any ways possible, you're able to avoid teenage pregnancy, please avoid it. Please avoid it so that you can fully live your life and, you know, enjoy being young, 
and you'll get to the mummy part when it's time for you to get there i mean yeah what is going on so yeah so just just keep on the positive side and know that things will get better in time don't give up it's going to be hard for you to go to school to go to work because some people are pregnant at work and or whatever the case is man but as long as you find yourself in a situation where now let them talk let them talk my babe let them talk one thing about people they will always talk but you but you don't let that change you absolutely don't let that change you. Um, it is your situation. Face it head on. And one thing about me, I'm a praying woman. I'm a strong believer in Christ. Um, I remember, like I said, that uh, one day maybe I'll do like a story time of how I struggled finding a job. That was the hardest thing. But you know what? I didn't stop praying. I kept on praying I kept on praying. It was hard. Sometimes I would be like, because But one thing about God, that man, hi <laughs> guys. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. Um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you about the journey overall, what I had to go through. Um, yeah, so I really hope that um I did give you guys something that you, you know, can maybe relate with. I know there are some people that were pregnant as teenagers, some they are early 20s. Some in their early 20s where you were thinking that when I, you want to get married first and then fall pregnant. But unfortunately, most of the times or all of the times we plan, but God decides right yes so without um dragging this video any further than what it's supposed to um i hope you guys really enjoyed this video today um and if you really did please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up please comment on the section down below maybe you can just briefly tell me about your experience of uh being pregnant at whatever age being it young teen um early 20s or at your big age whatever the age is but please do comment on the section down below and please don't forget to subscribe on the girls channel we are on our road to 500 and i hope you guys will get me there also do share this video um there is someone who is sitting there who is hoping and you know hoping that there is someone who's going to speak some sense into their mind so i hope by you sharing this video, this will reach that one particular person. So until I see you on another video very soon, um, yeah, keep well. I love you, Slobo. Bye-bye.